In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can use Explore Analytics to do reporting rolled up to the business service level in the CMDB. Before we get started, I, I wanted to give a quick overview of why exactly you need Explore Analytics to do reports. There's really no other solution that can deliver this. And the reason is because ServiceNow has you know, different layers of configuration items in the CMDB, and often incidents or problems or changes are associated to individual configuration items. So you might have incidents open against web servers, app servers, database servers, other types of infrastructure. What Explore Analytics does with these incidents is rolls them up to a parent business server. For example, if all of these CIs are mapped up to the messaging business service, we're going to automatically roll up to that service so that you'll be able in your reports to see how many messaging incidents there were. This works the same even if there are many CIs that have relationships to multiple business services. So even if one CI has multiple upstream business services and different CIs have interrelations between them, we're going to roll them up across the multiple business services. So that's really the key. That's the powerful functionality that we've introduced that really no other solution can provide. And we're going to do it in a live and an interactive way. And in this video, you're going to see in just a couple moments how you can do that easily. So now I'm going to be logged into Explore Analytics, and we're going to create our first business service report. I'm going to create a new view against my ServiceNow data source on the incident table. And just so I can see things clearly for a moment, I'm going to use a pivot. But everything we're going to cover works equally for the list or the chart. Uh, across any table in, uh, in ServiceNow. So we're going to call this My First BSM Report. And I'll click Finish. Just for the purposes of this report, I'm going to filter it based on um, created during this quarter. So that we have uh, a you know small number of incidents that we can very quickly uh, interact with. Now, if I go into my select field and I grab the configuration item, you'll see that these incidents are opened against you know individual you know machines or software packages or Amazon AMIs. Um, so, from a, a business perspective, it's a little bit difficult to see you know what exactly does this mean for the organization that all these incidents were open against these CIs. We want to take that and translate that into the business service view. So let's get that business focus perspective by clicking on that configuration item and clicking the pencil icon. I'm going to click this business service button. And for the moment, I'm just going to click OK. We're going to cover later on some of these advanced controls. But all I have to do is click OK. And let's relabel this business service and click OK. So now you'll see that just by selecting that menu option, I was able to get those incidents associated up to those parent business services. Without code, without script, it's all live and it's all drillable. Congratulations, you've created your first business service report. It couldn't be easier. Next, we're going to take a look at how you can filter using business services as well. So if I go to filter data and click and, I can go and select the configuration item field from a filtering perspective. And we have a few operators that are specific to business service reporting. So I can say configuration item is upstream from or downstream from a particular configuration item. So for example, if I wanted to filter on a particular server or a particular service and all of its relationships, I can filter on belongs to a service or services which allows me to select business services individually to filter from or you know multiple of them. I can select belongs to which allows me to do some advanced filtering that I'll show in a moment. Belongs to any business service which really just filters out ones that don't have relations to business services and not belongs to which is the opposite of belongs to. 
So for the moment, I'm going to select belongs to any business service. This is a really useful filter when you're using business service reporting because it filters out the data and eliminates any that aren't relevant from a business service reporting perspective. There may be times that you want to see you know, where configuration items aren't associated to a business service, but often for business service reporting, you're just interested in these business services. So you can see that empty row is now gone. So those are the basics of filtering and building the reporting. Again, we're just using some simple dropdowns to build live interactive reports against ServiceNow CMDB rolled up to the business service level. And this works anywhere that you have a configuration item reference field. But let's go back to those advanced options that we saw before and see what other uh, abilities and functionality we give you. So I'm going to click on this row labels again and click the pencil icon and click the business service button to look at these options yet again. Let's look at the first option. You'll see it says we're going to find we're going to follow CI relationships upstream to find the business service to which this CI belongs. The first option is follow upstream until the top level business services, which is going to look and see what's at the very top of the tree or a business service that meets a particular set of conditions. So if I say business service filter, I can say I only want to find any of the ones where business criticality is a critical service and click OK. This isn't the same as filtering by highly critical business services, but we're just grouping by the highly uh, critical business services right now. If I want to filter by any of those highly critical business services, I can select belongs to that filter that we saw before and click edit. And you'll see that I can see, say where it belongs to a single service, multiple services, or a business service that meets conditions. So for example, uh, if I want to say where business criticality is critical service, now it's actually going to filter the data in that and only bring me back incidents that have um, those highly critical business services. Right now there's 19 incidents and if I put it back to any business service we're going to see uh, all of those 86. So again it's important to know the difference between grouping by and filtering in, in cases like that. The next option that we're going to look at is doing additional groupings uh, on things that maybe are a little bit different than just the business service. So for the next example, I want to look at within these business services, what are the applications that this is grouped by? So I'm going to grab the configuration item field and drag it to the row labels again. I'm going to click that pencil icon and click the business service. And now you'll see this second option is my business service is not a business service, but another type of CI, in this case, application. So I'm going to check this off, and then I'm going to select application and click OK. And I'm going to relabel this application to be clear. So now we have two groupings. We have the upstream business service, and then below that we have the upstream application. So I can see that within the BlackBerry business service, there was an incident opened against uh, this Exchange server and this other Exchange server. So in that way, if you're not necessarily using business services, but you're using another CI table, or you're using that as a secondary grouping, maybe you have a hierarchy of multiple business services, you can use that as a grouping. So I can also do a grouping based on an attribute of a business service rather than the individual business service. So if I click on the pencil icon and look at this again, you'll see that the next option I have available is this uh, field name. So for example, I could say uh, I'd like to group this actually by the um, business criticality itself. So I select that and click OK and click again. Now you'll see that rather than listing out each individual business service, I have the most critical business services, which have six incidents, and I have somewhat critical business services, which have 68 incidents. So again, you know, we kind of seeing this uh, at the business service level, but we have more flexibility on how we want to represent that. Again, none of this required coding or scripting or any complexity. I'm just selecting from that menu exactly what I'd like. Now for all of these reports, we also have the ability to drill through. So just very easily by clicking, I say drill through to the details on that row, and it's going to take me uh, to 
the list of incidents broken up by business services. So you'll see here that I have this business service column we were looking at a moment ago, and it's showing me most critical or most critical and somewhat critical. Now in a list view, as we saw before, I can drag the configuration item field, click the pencil icon, select business service, and create a column that's showing those business services. Now because this is a list, we're not grouping by the business services, we're really just listing out those business services. So if I click OK, this column is listing out each individual business service, and then the column we had before that's listing out the, the criticality. So I can see that in this incident impacted you know, a large number of services, this one only PeopleSoft. Now you'll notice that in the list view we have this as a, a comma separated list. If I click back on that and go back to that business service, you'll see that that's actually the last property that we have here. If there's more than one business service for a CI, I can either show each one separately or condense into a list. So let me select show each separately and click OK. Now you'll see that the same list of data is much longer but it's because we're showing the same incident multiple times for each of the business services that's associated to that. So again, we're making it very easy for you to either show each individual uh, service or, uh, as we had it before, condense them. Often from a list perspective, condensing them is going to kind of help you see uh, very easily um, you know, the, the list of incidents in a, in a very condensed format. Now for this report, we looked at doing it in a pivot and we just looked at doing it in a list, but all of the functionality that we've covered works equally for charts as well. So if I convert this to a chart, you'll see that that same business service field uh, is carried over. And you know we're still looking at that business, business criticality. So this is a visual chart that's showing me that we had six incidents that were most critical and 68 that were somewhat critical. You now know everything you need to know to report based on business services. It couldn't be simpler and there's no other reporting tool that can turn around this type of report. If you're interested in finding out more information, you can find our uh, Explore Analytics wiki that has all of the documentation on these features. Or you can watch our recorded business service management webinar that covers some of the use cases and some of the types of reports that you can build with this functionality. If you want to see some examples of how you can really use this powerful functionality to drive some better business processes. Thank you and good luck reporting.